Hello and welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And tonight we have one of Hollywood's most powerful figures saying that Megan lacks any kind of talent. And that's a sick burn, even for Megan, because the Duchess of Sausages is not talentless. She was in a very successful TV show, remember? Like, what, 10 years ago? And perhaps that might be the issue that she had to leave her acting career when she decided to become Mrs. Harold because the evil royal family was not going to let her venture outside the palace walls. But now that I think of it, Megan has never really left acting. It's only that it's a different kind of acting. That's all. But what did Jeremy Zimmer say about Megan exactly? Well, Turns out, Meghan Markle was not a great audio talent, or necessarily any kind of talent. Yeah, truly harsh words. And we are talking about United Talent Agency, which represents some powerful figures in entertainment, such as Benedict Cumberbatch, Malala Yousafzai, and Paris Hilton. By the way, you remember that Paris was in one of Meghan's Ours Wipes episodes, right? But Jeremy Zimmer added one comment to those remarks that are quite interesting. He also said, and you know, just because you're famous doesn't make you great at something. Now, I'm sure you'll agree with me that you don't necessarily need to be that talented to be productive. For example, I used to make fun of Drake. Maybe I don't like his music, but the guy knows how to market himself and there's no doubt that he has put in the work to get to where he is, because consistency just beats everything else. There's that Woody Allen quote that reads, 80% of success is just showing up, and it means not just showing up, but keeping your head down and doing the work every single day without missing one day. But what if you lack talent and, at the same time, you don't put in the work? You only show up for the paparazzi. You don't make decisions about your own millionaire contracts. You don't care about your brand being on the line. Then nobody's going to do that for you. And this is the part that I do not understand. Megan comes from a show business background. She knows how hard it is to make it in Hollywood. Perhaps her father really set her up for success with his contacts so she didn't have to do much about it. But the articles are in the red zone, and thanks to the always witty Charles voicemail, we got the options that Meghan and Harry could take from now on. One of these suggestions made me choke on my Marmite toast. Can you guess which one? The options are a bit bizarre. We got going back to the TIG or getting a clothing deal, going back on social media or a new PR team, a global brand partnership, return to acting, total brand rebuild, or wait for it, focusing on others. Yeah, I don't know how to reconcile those words with the Harkles track record. And we are seeing a picture of Meghan and Harry hugging a woman, I think. By the way, I, I wanted to make a joke about this picture, but first I wanted to make sure when was this taken. And I found it. They were hugging Lisa Johnston, a former army medic and amputee who celebrates with her medal at the Invictus Games. Uh, this, is, this is great. But now I cannot unsee Megan's facial expression of, well, how do I put this like a gentleman? She was trying her best to be friendly and warm trying. I don't know why this picture made me realize that we will never have an Ars Wives episode with Amber Heard, but who knows? Maybe someone can interview Amber from a safe distance and then, with the magic of editing, we add the Duchess of Sausages questions in there. I think that could be a great approach. And I know that this channel is all about the royals, but now that I mention Aquatured, I need to share with you these recent photos with William Baldwin. And well, if I saw Amber forcing a smile like this, like she's about to eat Alec Baldwin's brother, then you, then you had to see it too. Then I had an idea. Let's go all the way narc, baby. Can you imagine Meghan Markle, Amber Heard, Ilaria Baldwin, and Jada Pinkett Smith with their own talk show? That would break the internet. 
And thanks to Gigi and the Pop on Twitter with the brilliant idea, the version of the view called this pew. How many minutes do you think they could last in the same room? Place your bets. But it so happens that Harry and Meghan are moving on. I don't know where, but they seem to be moving nonetheless and developing together with Netflix a Great Expectations prequel. The show, titled Bad Manners, would focus on Miss Havisham. And just to be clear, Great Expectations is not about how people thought the Meghan Markle storyline inside the British monarchy was going to develop. No, 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 no. That, it's not about that. It is about the book Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. Now, this is the kind of projects that come out of left field and Charles Dickens by no, is by no means an obscure writer. But I don't know. Let's take a look at the description of the project. According to the Wall Street Journal, the prequel would recast Miss Havisham a lonely spinster as a strong woman living in a patriarchal society. I don't know, Rick. Uh, just to be clear, there's no shortage of awesome strong female leads in movies and TV shows. But this is as long as they are written as human beings who grow as the story unfolds. Because what we have nowadays in terms of strong female characters are uninteresting at best and preachy at worst. How do you think it's going to be Methane's take on that character? Or in the words of one of my favorite actresses, Emily Blunt, is the worst thing ever when you open a script and read the words strong female lead. That makes me roll my eyes. I'm already out. I'm bored. And Prince William keeps working silently. Today, the Royal Foundation is launching Homewards a five-year program committed to demonstrating that it's possible to end homelessness in the UK. But you know the media will try to paint this initiative with a dark light, like the bell ends at BBC News. Prince William announces ambitious plans to cut homelessness. But is a wealthy royal the right man for the job? I mean, what kind of a stupid question is that? But there's actual action already on their way. IKEA UK, we're proud to be working with the Royal Foundation on their new program, Homewards, to end homelessness, making it rare, brief, and unrepeated. We will contribute with skills and resources to support to deliver the solutions needed to prevent homelessness. Charities like Crisis UK and Centerpoint are among the others supporting the initiative, so let's see where do we go from here. It looks like this is going to be one of the main initiatives of the Prince and Princess of Wales, so we will be closely following and reporting their developments. My Royal Rogues, remember that the Royal Rogues official monogram merch is on and you have mugs, v-neck shirts, tote bags, aprons and more and go to the link in the description to get yours right now. And I don't know if you are into podcasts, but now you can listen to The Royal Rogue both on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. You can search for me there or use the link in the description. And The Royal Rogues family is growing. You know that I've got a total monthly audience of 1 million, but more than 600,000 come back every few days to watch my daily videos. So you can help me raise my subscribers by just clicking the like and subscribe buttons. It's free and the best way to inspire me to keep making these shows. Thank you. The two most important words, much love and bliss.